The manual for the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker says you should never use pellets to smoke your food inside of this unit. So should you use pellets instead of chips? Are they okay to use? Are they better to use? Are they going to start a fire inside of your Masterbuilt Electric Smoker and burn your whole house down? Are they going to unleash arcane horrors upon the world and destroy everything you know and love? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. I submit this video for the approval of the Masterbuilt Society. I call it, Should You Use Pellets Inside the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker? God damn it. Let's cut to the chase. Although the manual for the Masterbuilt doesn't recommend it, I believe that it's safe to use pellets inside the Masterbuilt electric smoker. And if you have a pellet smoker like I do, this is the Pit Boss 456D, I've got an unlimited supply of pellets in here. And why would I buy wood chips uh, to use my Master with electric smoker if I already have wood pellets? It's just a waste of money in my view to buy both types of fuel. And I can't use wood chips inside my pellet smoker. So that's why I use pellets inside the Master Built electric smoker. I think it's safe to do so, but you should remember a few different things about using pellets in this unit. The first thing is that as you saw in the intro, I can't just blow these things into the air like I could with wood chips or sawdust that you could put inside of the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. They're very dense. There's a lot of compressed wood in here. And as a result, there's a lot of stored energy. There's a lot of stored smoke that you can generate from it. So you have to use only a few pellets when you're smoking with the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. How few? I would use only around five pellets. So if you're looking at a pellet that's around that big, you only need about five of them to generate the amount of smoke you need to smoke your food in this thing. And then when that smoke dies down every hour or every hour and a half, you can put another five pellets in. Don't load your tray up to the top with pellets. That's gonna light this on fire. It's gonna weaken the metal. It's going to cause issues inside your master belt electric smoker. And it could also cause a blowback. So often if I put too many pellets in, then out of the exhaust on my master belt, there'll be a huge puff of smoke that comes out with quite a bit of force because there's so much smoke and chemicals building up inside that it just blows out. And some people have actually had problems where they put way too many pellets or too much fuel and generate too much smoke in this thing and it blows the door off. So you don't want that to happen. So use five pellets at a time, you're gonna generate more than enough smoke and also if you use too many pellets you're also going to make your food way over smoked and way too acrid to eat and i've done it before and it just really diminishes the flavor of the food so keep that in mind use pellets responsibly so if you guys had any doubts about whether you could use pellets inside the master Built electric smoker i want to reassure you that it's okay to do so just limit the amount of pellets you use I've been doing it for about five years now and I've never had an issue. I've always had great flavor. You just have to really keep the amount of pellets low and you'll always have a good cook. You'll always smoke some good meat. So hope this video was helpful, guys. If you want to check out another great video, check this one out. That's going to tell you how to smoke a brisket on the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. And we go over how to trim it, how to apply the rub, how to cook it low and slow so you get a tender, juicy, awesome brisket with great bark inside the Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. So check that video out and I'll see you in the next video.